Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and uh, we're back for some more Dungeon Defenders, too. Um, I figured to make a more well-rounded sort of uh, preview Let's Play during the beta, I would probably should uh, go through and play one of each of the characters. So today we're going to start checking out the Huntress, which is the ranged class and she specializes in shooting things in the face with a bow, shooting explosive arrows, um, phoenix arrows of all things, and uh, also traps that most of them don't necessarily do um, or can take damage. They just kind of sit there and touch things butts. But uh, they do quite a bit of like AoE damage, damage over time, poison damage. So, uh, you know, it's pretty cool and I don't mind it so much. Although, to get started with, it can be just a tad uh, complicated to learn how to use um, other things besides, like, walls. Because with, like, Mage and Warrior, which are classes that I'm the most familiar with, they've got, like, walls you can put up and tank stuff. So your strategies are just a little bit different. So, let's start with uh, the Dragonfall Bazaar. Seems like a fine place to get started for our playthrough, so we can... Have a decent time of it, but not, like, immediately get uh, our butts touched by something new. Alrighty, so... Dragonfall Bazaar. We've, uh... We've got this saucy fellow here with a cart in the way, blocking off the enemies from getting back into the, the main area of the Dragonfall Castle. And we've got to defend on these three entryways of orcs and crabby goblins and stuff from coming in and touching their their vendory batookies. So we don't you know we don't want that to happen. So we've got to watch the the main road here, the side road, and also this road that protects the uh, gate control, which if that gets destroyed, then stuff will start coming out of the sewers. And uh, we don't want that. For some reason shit's getting into the sewer system again. Um, I, I, I suspect it's because Jim Bob's been eating all that really weird dragon corn, and it's in his, uh, his leavings as he flushes them down the toilet, so that's not, it's not the best. So, our primary bread and butter, as the Huntress, is these explosive traps. They walk on these things, and they go boom, and then, you know, they take a bunch of damage. And the numbers that you see on top of each of them is actually the number of charges that they've got. So with these traps, you don't really worry so much about, like, uh, their health going down, but you have to refill their charges by repairing them, or else they will expire and you'll be down um, a trap in the middle of a wave. Which kind of screwed me over at the start of um, learning this character and this class. Uh, lots, lots of stuff going on there, and the pathing in this is also a little bit fiddly, so some of these traps might even not go off at all, which could, which could potentially be super annoying. So you know, you got to be careful of all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna want to use the uh, last couple of things, of gems that I've got, or mana, or magic, whatever you want to call the green resource, to slap down. Some of these big bad uh, mamma jamma cannons, and these are they're like arrow shooters. They fire a volley of deadly arrows right into your face hole, and then they poison people, which is super helpful because um, you know things that come out of here aren't nice. They're rude more often than not, and we don't want them to touch our stuff, not even kinda. So I'll put the last one up here because this. Uh, Secondary gate control is super important, and then with that last little bit of mana that we've got, or gems, or power, I don't remember what they call them in Dungeon Defenders 2, and we'll spawn yet one more uh, explosive trap. The other trap I didn't use, which I'm not super certain how I want to use it, is um, there's like this wind trap, it's kind of like a geyser, and it throws out... Wind, well, I mean, I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, and the wind will just knock them up in the air, kind of like the wizard's tornado spell, and keep them from going anywhere or doing anything saucy, which that, that can be super useful. Um, 
throw a barrage over there. We'll just shoot these bad boys up here. Something I've noticed, I mean, I'm just not the best huntress in the world. Um, I think I placed my traps a little too close together up here. But, um... Like, you, you, your stuff tends to get beaten up a little easier than when you're playing a class that has access to a wall. So, I mean, there's that, which is interesting. Um, so we're gonna get a little bit beat up this first round. I don't I, you know, I'm not really going in here with a specific plan of attack on how to lay everything out perfectly. But, you know, it'll, it'll do fine. I mean, what's, what's the worst that could happen? All, I mean, just goblins getting in and killing innocent people and taking over the kingdom and raising property taxes so that, you know, no one wants to live here anymore and it turns into a bit of a, a sinister, diabolic slum. I mean, that, that's the worst case scenario, so I don't think there's too, too much for us to worry about. Um... We went okay here in the middle, but they were just coming over and, like, attacking the sewer control from down below. I think we need some additional traps up here. Um, looks like their charges are doing okay. So let's do this. We'll stick another, um, arrow turret back here. Unfortunately, these things don't have, like, a really wide range, so we can't exactly have them doubling up on shooting the middle. So, you know, it's whatever. But, um, they do a pretty okay job doing, you know, just shooting things in a line and keeping them quite dead. So, um, let's put a couple more exploding flame traps up here. Um, I don't think I want to upgrade any of them just yet. So I'll put uh, more of them back over here. I, didn't I have, I guess my turret I had over here got exploded. So that's not very good. It's hard for me to tell. Sometimes the mobs, like, care about these arrow turrets. The poison arrow turrets. And sometimes they don't. Like, sometimes they just straight up ignore them. And I'm not really sure why. There, there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reasoning behind it. Like, I could put these right here. And half of the monsters won't even, like, acknowledge that they exist. Even though they've been shooting them in the mouth for, like, an hour. And then... Let's just for good measure... Let's throw in one of these bad boys. And this, like I was saying before, it's like an old faithful geyser. It'll just knock people up into the air. And, um, hmm. I think we could do with one right in here, actually. Just in this corner, where it can just shoot at people, and then we'll put him a, a companion turret. Because these turrets are like ferrets. They get, they get lonesome when they're alone. You gotta, you gotta give them friends to talk to about which part of the goblin they shot arrows into. Sometimes they... I mean, it's kind of rude, but sometimes turrets like to shoot you in the dick, and they like to tell their friends about it. So, I mean, you gotta... You gotta give them friends to chat with, or else they get saucy and sad. And we don't... we don't want that. We're fighting goblins and shit. Goblins and shit are annoying in the best of times. So we want to make sure all of our inanimate objects are as happy as uh, they possibly can be. So we'll go into... Fa what is this, wave three? And start murdering them. Or no, is this phase two, or wave two? This is wave two. Alright. I, I get combobulated sometimes. It, it happens, you know, whatever. So we've got a, a, an ogre up here. Or a big bad orc, I forget the difference. And, uh, they... They're just big brutes, they take a lot of damage. So we gotta make sure that they get touched. So that they don't, you know, blow our stuff up. Which is kinda rude, but... Hey, you know, I don't judge. Out loud. Because that's just asking for trouble, really. So the sewer control thing is under attack. Need to upgrade some of these uh, explosive traps up here, is it look what it's looking like. They're just kind of ignoring these side turrets, whereas down here they're, they're attacking the side turrets. So we'll just have to upgrade stuff and add a couple more explosive traps for the next wave. Uh, middle's not doing too great, but it'll be fine. We'll upgrade it now that we've kind of seen what monsters will do up there. Throw a phoenix up there to help them out a little bit so they don't explode. Um, the sewer controls can take a little bit of a beating before getting destroyed. That far side's doing okay. What's the sewer doing? Not bad, actually. Just one or two beating on it. Just throw an explosive barrage, and everyone's super cool and happy. Throw a phoenix. 
throw some more explosives to kill everyone up here. Yeah, we're doing alright. Not doing as well as I did before, which is weird, because this is basically the same setup I had when I first started leveling my Huntress on this level. But, you know, to each their own. Sometimes weird stuff happens, there's just no explaining it. Let's go grab ourselves some magical power. Uh, looks like my keyboard is lagging a little bit, that's annoying. It's the trouble with these, uh, Bluetooth keyboards. Sometimes they have an opinion. And that's not the best. So we'll repair you, upgrade this explosive trap, and this one. Um, I'm actually gonna stick one right here, and right there. And we'll just repair this one and this one. That should be okay. Um, these weren't getting beat up too badly, so let's... Throw a couple more explosive traps up here. I feel like we don't really need to super upgrade too many of these up here. Just because they seem to be doing alright without too much help. And then last but not least, this far side. Um, the turret's getting a little bit beat up. Let's repair you. Um, a little low on charges here. And here. And here. And I don't really have enough mana for any other major improvements over here, so we'll just have to be good boys and watch it and make sure nothing happens. This will be our weak side this time around. That's really what these games are all about. It's kind of like an involved tower defense game where you have to shore up your defenses with your own weapons. So, you know, if stuff gets beat up, like, it's not great. You won't get a perfect score or a, a better reward. But, it, you know, it's better than nothing, really. So we'll throw the phoenix up here, kill these gobbers before they can get any saucy ideas. Throw some explosives over there. Um, I've also got this slowing bomb, which is different. If I throw this, it has to charge up, but then it, it's like a poison that slows and does a little bit of extra damage over time. So if you don't really want to spend a lot of mana to re-upgrade stuff, then that's not a terrible way to go about doing it. My opinion of the Huntress so far, Huntress is pretty utilitarian as far as characters go inside Dungeon Defenders 2. So, you, it's best used with like a character that has like a wall, like a warrior or a mage, something of that variety. Same thing with the monk. They can definitely hold their own, like don't get me wrong, it's just like for my purposes, I prefer those other two classes. They, these are just way too utilitarian. They don't seem to do enough direct damage. They don't have as much control without a wall. They're certainly not underpowered, but I just, it's not my playstyle. But we're checking them out anyway. Um, we'll have to repair that geyser soon. These goblins just will not behave. I'll have to put another tower pointed that direction to shore up our defense up here. Um, do, 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 repair, repair. Let me get some more of my delicious magic. Magic crystals make the world go round, kids. Don't forget that. We'll upgrade these first three explosives back here. And then, um... I'm gonna shore this side up by putting in a third poison tower. I think that'll keep that pretty well under control. I don't know what to do about this back corner here. Um... We kind of have some wasted stuff in the middle here. So it seems like I just need to put like an explosive trap right there where they're trying to sneak around and touch our stuff, which is kind of rude, but say la vie, there's nothing you can really do to stop it. Uh, I need to upgrade a couple of these, but I only have so much magic, so we'll just throw this little geyser up here, which should hopefully uh, keep anybody from getting too handsy with our towers, or our gate lock control. Um, this thing has a lot of health, and it looks like it resets every time in normal difficulty mode, so... Nothing to really worry about there. In fact, that's a little too easy. I I'd be fine if it kept getting whittled down, because... These things don't exactly do a lot of damage, and we're not exactly hurting on the defense side. It's just kind of derpy. I'm not as practiced with the Huntress. With the mage, you just kind of stick a tower somewhere, and they just maul the shit out of everybody that comes out of a doorway. So, you know, whatever. I'll just, uh, throw a few phoenixes. 
to help control the tide of derp coming out of that door. Uh, I should be utilizing my minimap a little better, I'm thinking. But, eh, whatever. It's not quite as big a deal. Yeah, these guys are- they have like one or two health left every time they reach the- the gate control. So I'm thinking if I just put like a tower in the rear up here, I should be fine for crowd control. Definitely looks like I'm doing alright for crowd control on the far side there. But we have an explosive trap, I think, that needs a repair real fast. Um, this bad boy. Now one of the things that I didn't realize before is you can repair stuff from, like, anywhere. I can start that repair and I can run away and, and shoot other stuff. Which kind of seems overpowered, actually. Not sure if I like that or not, but it's about as as easy or cheesy as anything else in this game, so whatever. I mean, if you choose to use it that way, that's your choice. I just prefer that my turrets kind of do their thing while they're in combat, minus the walls, because walls, sometimes they get beaten up. There's, there's fancy, weird creatures in this game that, like the burrowers, I forget their names off the top of my head, that will just shred your defenses. Same with, uh, oh, that folly didn't go nearly far enough. Same with, uh, these big brute guys. They're kind of annoying. So, do 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 Alright, um, we can't really build anything more. We can build, like, one more explosive turret. And that's it. So we'll just focus on, uh, repairing stuff. We'll upgrade you, you seem to get a lot of use. Uh, what about you? We'll repair you, repair you, and not you. Some of these bad boys over here probably are hurting. Yeah, this guy's hurting, this guy's hurting. Uh, let's upgrade you, repair you, repair the geyser. I don't really feel I need to upgrade the geysers at all. They're not a really mainstay damage dealers, but it's good to keep them up and with health and stuff so that they don't get whittled down to nothing. Uh, and trying, I'm also going to try not to upgrade any one lane super much either, just because, um... I tend to waste a lot of resources on one spot when a lot of others could use it more, if that makes sense. I, I tend to, to tunnel vision on one specific area of my map instead of keeping them all under control. So, you know, we'll upgrade you, repair you, you're doing... This trap doesn't seem to always be getting used, which is weird. So, I think we're all pretty good. These are all... Oh, these need repair. Better keep those repaired, because you might think, oh, they're just getting touched a little bit in between during the waves, but if you get one bad, like, push in one lane that you're not expecting, you can really screw yourself over and lose the entire match for yourself. So try not, try not to do that. I've done that a lot. I've thought something's been fine, something didn't need repairing or upgrading, and then it just got shit on the next wave, so be very careful with, uh, how you handle that stuff. So... Got some goblins here. Got some other goblins here. I do kind of dig the phoenix. It seems kind of random at the same time, but it does some good work. So I'm definitely pleased by how satisfying the spells feel for the Huntress. The volley feels really fun, too, when you shoot that. It's like a volley of arrows with a ridiculous amount of explosive tied onto them. Like, that that definitely feels nice to use that weapon. Uh, how we doing over here? Doing okay. Not doing bad. It looks like we finally shored up the, uh, the middle quite a bit. And is this the last wave? Am I on the boss wave? I can't even tell. This, uh, Dungeon Defenders is a little different-y. I could do with, like, Dungeon Defenders doing a pop-up of, like, the name of the wave incoming. Just so that I can remember, because I'm not always good about predicting what the counter in the upper corner is gonna do. It might seem silly, but... I don't know. I'm bad with it. Bad at paying attention to it. So, yeah. But, you know, the other thing I think might be cool is if there could be, like, a modifier for a spell that you could activate 
so that you could just have poison attached to your your bow and your arrows. Because right now you can get those spell effects from just like basic weapons, because this bow does like bonus fire damage when I fight. But it could be cool if, like, just as a perk or a talent or something later, you could be able to, you know, enable that everything you do has poison. So we won. That was our last, um, wave where we had a bunch of dragons. That wasn't so bad, actually. Um, ooh, come on, give me the good stuff. Don't give me a shitty green chest. I I'll hate- Yay, we got the blue one. That's almost the best one. What did we get? Ooh, I hope it's- I hope it's shiny. Because I really have crappy gear on this Huntress so far. It's, uh, not earth-shattering stuff. Really? I got a blue, and it's worse than what I have. That's, uh, actually, no, this is better. I'm not really getting beat up much. So let's actually equip that hat. Sometimes the stat readouts trick you, so always pay attention to them. Because that was basically, like, saying that it was worse because it didn't give me a lot of resistances for my hero. However... I'm a long-range hero. If I'm getting beat up, I'm probably screwed anyway. So, you know. So I guess that's the end of the first episode for checking out the Huntress, everybody. Um, join me again, Larry the Chupacabra, next time for some more checking out the Huntress. And uh, we'll probably get to the point where I can unlock her fourth tower slash trap slash defense. I'm not really sure what it is. I've not spoiled it for myself intentionally. And, uh... We'll see more of that, we'll probably do a couple more episodes of this, and then we'll do like the monk, and then the warrior. So, we'll catch you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Have a good one, guys.